The arrival of the Holy Spirit in Acts marks the beginning of Jesus' church. His followers were a united community that worshiped together, prayed together, lived together. The shared love between them was seen by the outside community who lived in horrible circumstances in the service to their political and religious masters. They saw what the believers had and they wanted it. The outside world of today is a little different than what the uh, outsiders in Acts saw. So many today are slaves to social media, booze, drugs, a distorted American dream. So many are chasing their tails with no direction. Satan has convinced non-believers that Christianity is no fun. You can't flirt with the pretty lady in the grocery store aisle. You can't bet on college football games. You can't get drunk on Saturday night with your bros. You can't take, take stuff from your company supply closet. I've been a salesman most of my life, and it's easier to sell a positive than a negative. Be a Christian so you don't have to go to hell. Oh, that's a negative. What is the positive of Christianity? I hope it's obvious. I've been telling you folks the same thing for years. It's the love that you offer everybody that walks through that door. It's the love, it's not earned, it's just received. It's a love that's not deserved, it's just given. It's the love that you so freely gave to Judy and I when we first came here. It's the love that God offers to all. It's the love that the early church showed to the outside world at Pentecost. It's the love that I hope that we can show at Judy's memorial service next week. Here's a dirty little secret. Judy doesn't need a memorial service. Judy doesn't need anything. She's in paradise. I don't need a memorial service for Judy because I will be memorializing my best friend every day for the rest of my life. So who needs a memorial service? We do. Our church community, True Life Church, needs a memorial service, and I will tell you why. There are going to be a lot of people from the outside of our community, people who think that they are Christians because they go to church a couple of times a year. This is our opportunity to show the world the love that Judy and I have been feeling since we came here. To steal a line from my sister, this is Judy's last opportunity to witness to those she loved with the love that you guys all gave us. I look forward to seeing you next Saturday. Thank you.